So my name is Moran Freemer, and I'm a security platform team leader at Wix Infrastructure. Before I arrived to Wix, I've been four and a half years working at Checkpoint as a, dev as a DevOps team leader. And now, all around, I've been in total in the DevOps world for about more than 10 years. So when I first started working at Wix, my first assignment was to upgrade all of our Vault clusters. So although I had no past experience working with Vault, I thought it was a pretty straightforward task, right? Well, man, I was wrong. So let's start. As you know, every few weeks, HashiCorp releases a new Vault version, usually with cool new features and sometimes also important security fixes. So I guess now most of you, like me, need to manually upgrade all of your Vault clusters, right? So why we must upgrade our Vault frequently? Every year, only on Vault alone, there are several CVEs which have been fixed and so many new features and bug fixes. So you also don't want to wait longer for a new version to arrive, because the longer you wait, the gap between your current version and the latest one will make the upgrade even more difficult. So although it can be time consuming, upgrading your vault to the latest version is just something we can avoid. So here at Wix, we decided to set up a CD pipeline which automatically, uh, automatically upgrades all of our vault clusters. So today, I will discuss our experience with upgrading vault frequently, and together, we will save you and your company a lot of valuable time and money. So this is a problem, right? Making safe changes to all of our vault clusters without any stressful manual action. This is what we will focus on. The clicker works. So just for you to get a better understanding of what we need to deal with, it's important for us to talk about the Wix way of making changes in production. We're going to use the same capability that already exists in Wix to do safe changes on our Vault clusters. So let's talk about the Wix way. We are all about our users. This is our focus. In our production environment, that means we won't tolerate any downtime. And as you guys know, secrets usually are the basic configuration for every application. Application without its secrets will just not work. <laughs> so Wix made sure our production environment is fully highly available across multiple regions, and we can shift our traffic, our user traffic, between regions without any user impact, not even in performance or latency. This setup allows us the ability to conduct infrastructure changes in a very safe way on our production environment. So let's talk about how we are doing it. Well, first, we have the ability to completely drain a production DC from, from its user traffic. That means all of our thousands of applications running on top of Kubernetes will automatically scale down. The DC will be completely drained. Then we can safely perform our infrastructure change that we want. For example, we can upgrade our, upgrade our Kubernetes clusters or making configuration changes to our Nginxes. We will also run synthetic tests on our change to test specifically the functionality that we want. Now, the next part is pretty cool. Full test is, is the step where we're starting up all of Wix application. By starting up all Wix application, the, the thousands of applications will immediately scale out, and they all together will re receive We'll start uh, consuming secrets from our vault clusters. We call this step a pre warm DC. We're getting the DC ready to resume live traffic. And the last thing we have to do is, of course, return the production traffic to the DC. So now you will see how we will use the same capability already in existing Wix ecosystem to safely conduct vault upgrade on our Vault clusters. So as you may guess, our Vault setup is, is completely identical to our production one. 
multi-regional DC, fully highly available. We use the HashiCorp uh, official Helm chart to deploy it. We have our primary cluster in one DC, and we have performance secondary clusters on other DCs. And they all, all got DR replication. You cannot get more bulletproof architecture than that. Important to know, it is not safe to replicate from a newer version of Vault to an older one. When upgrading replicated clusters, we need to ensure that the upstream clusters are always on an older version than the downstream one. Because of that, we will start first with a DR, DR secondary cluster, move our way to the performance secondary ones, and finally, on the last step, we will upgrade the primary, the primary cluster. <clears throat> Sorry. Also important to mention, all of our Vault clusters are deployed and running on top of Kubernetes. So we will start with the DR secondary clusters. It should be pretty simple, right? All you need to do is to upgrade the Vault Ham chart and apply it. Well, by default, when you apply it, nothing happens. No new pods spinning up. The existing pods don't get terminated. This is because the Ham chart is configured with on-delete rolling strategy. On-delete prevents the controller from automatically update, updating its pods. You will need to delete, manually delete the existing pods one by one, and then only after a new pods with a new version will spin up. So you will first need to upgrade all of the standby pods one by one, and only at the last step you will need to upgrade the primary, the leader pod. HashiCorp has a great documentation about it, and trust me, it is all there. What about synthetic testing? We need to make sure new pods is functioning right. You can ask at this point, isn't the built-in readiness endpoint of Vault is good enough for functional testing? Well, it will get you to some point you will know that the vault is fully initialized, unsealed, and ready to receive connections. But what about actually consuming a secret? A secret you know that is exists. So for that, we decided to, to configure a tiny sidecar container into our vault pod using some basic Helm configuration like extra container, we decided to set up a tiny container. All it does is performing a simple get API request, which consume a secret we know that exists. If we have a valid response, we are all good. If not, we will immediately roll back. Just a second. So for DR secondary cluster, you can go ahead and change and do the synthetic test immediately, right? They are there for backup. They are not serving any client request. Now that we are done with upgrading the R secondary clusters, we can tackle our performance secondary ones. Any Wix application on any DC can connect and consume secrets from any Vault clusters. We can achieve that by shifting traffic based on DNS. For local optimization, we obviously, ev ob obviously every week's DC is configured to communicate and connect to the nearest available Vault cluster. We also have a DNS-based fallback to the next nearest Vault cluster in case of a failure. This DNS failover capability enable us to control traffic to our Vault cluster. So now, we gain two additional pipeline capabilities. We can remove traffic from each of our Vault cluster, and we can also return traffic to our Vault. So combining together Wix traffic capabilities alongside with our Vault traffic capabilities, we can complete a pipeline for creating a safe and controlled change to our Vault. Let's go, the, let's go through the pipeline together. Well, first, we're going to remove the vault traffic away from a cluster, right? We want to upgrade it. We want to do it safely. 
So the second part is to go ahead and do the chains and synthetic testing on that cluster. After that, we want to proceed to doing full tests. But to proceed to doing full tests, we first need to remove Wix production traffic from the DC. Then we can safely return the vault traffic to the cluster. And after that, we can go ahead and pre-warm the production DC so all the application will start up and start consuming their secrets. And then only after that, we will be able to return production traffic to, to the Wix DC. So we are almost done. We have a pipeline for conducting changes to our vault cluster, except the performance parameter we want. The way Vault works is to, to be able to maintain persistency is, to, is all right operation are routed to the performance primary cluster. When you want to create secret, updating a secret, or deleting one, all those actions are going straight to the primary cluster. You can control this, this part of traffic. So based on HashiCorp documentation, at this last stage, you will need to perform an in-class upgrade on the performance primary cluster. So the only choice we have left is to schedule a right maintenance window. We are collaborating with HashiCorp on finding an alternative way, something that can help us avoid that. So here is a full pipeline under a right maintenance window. Because we, have an, we automated all the components and all this control and built a complete full CD pipeline, the right maintenance window will be short and acceptable. Well, thank God we did it. We have pipelines for all of our vault clusters. But what if you do, want to do something else besides upgrading vault version? Let's say, for example, you want to migrate from console storage to raft integrated storage. Well, for doing that, you will have to utilize blue-green deployment methodology. Blue-green deployment process means spinning up a completely new entire cluster. And then, after doing the change on the new cluster, you're going to migrate all the traffic from the original cluster to the new one. Well, spinning up a new, a new cluster has its own complexity. You will need to automate the initialization part and also the replication setup. Follow us as we are working on this pipeline as well, and we release it soon. So after going through all the details of our pipeline, let's do a quick recap. Well, first, first we talk about Wix traffic control. We use the already existing capabilities that we have in Wix ecosystem. We can remove Wix traffic from our production DC, we can do full tests, and we can return the Wix traffic also. For DR secondary, we can go ahead and do the change and synthetic test immediately. They are there for backup, as we mentioned. For performance secondary cluster, we have the full pipeline. Remove the vault traffic away from a cluster, doing the change, remove the Wix traffic from the correlated Wix DC, and then we can safely return vault traffic and conduct full tests, like pre-warming the DC, consuming all of our secrets. At the final stage, we will return traffic, and that is it. We conducted our change in production on a safe way. For performance primary, as I mentioned, put the whole pipeline under the right maintenance window. So before I say goodbye, I will be available for questions, I think, at the booth after, the, uh, after this presentation. I can give an example for a question I received while dry running it inside Wix. I've been asked, which tool did we use to construct our CD pipeline? Well, in our case, we use GitHub Actions, but you can go, away, go, go and use whatever workflow engine of your taste. One last thing, I was asked to say Wix is opening a new site right here in Amsterdam. Great news, right? So thank you so much for listening to that talk. Hopefully it was interesting for the last talk. 
Thank you, guys.